What's up, Pixels here, and I'm making this video because a lot of things happened yesterday that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, a lot of you guys probably was either asleep or up like I was, just waiting for the news of all the stuff. So I decided to take a few things that I was pretty much excited for yesterday and make a video of it and just show you guys some things you probably missed and some things you probably are looking forward to. Now, I do recommend you guys checking back on my channel every single day, um, all the way up until Wednesday, most likely, because I'm going to be telling you guys a lot what we're going to be doing with, with the server I'm getting and so you guys can know who's the admins, pretty much the rules and everything like that. Um, I'm trying to make it where it's actually fair. And as far as right now, the server should be free for everyone. I'm trying my best to make sure the server is free for everyone. Um, I was going to lock it behind a payroll, but if I can honestly get it free for everyone, I'm definitely going to do it. Um, and there's going to be a shout out at the end of the video for somebody uh, who actually looked out for us. Like he really looked out for us in this community. Um, but the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Arc Survival of All Collector Edition. Now you probably wonder like, wow, Pixels never, you know, upload a video showing the Collector Edition. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I really wanted to get the Collector Edition, but at the time I had a lot of things I had to deal with, so I wasn't able to actually pick it up. But I got lucky last night. Um, I actually have like wildcard tweets, kind of like, like the notification for it locked on my phone. So if they ever tweet something, I always see it first. And I do recommend all you guys are going to do that to your favorite person on tw Twitter or something like that. Like if you like a game that much, I recommend you turn on your notifications because you never know when something like this actually comes out. So like I said, as we know, the Collect Edition was $159. Well, I ended up getting the Collect Edition for $84. Now, Wild Card kind of snuck this in early in the morning. They released the Arc Survival Evolved Digital Super Fan Collector's Edition. Now this is pretty much everything in the Collect Edition but the game. So it's a little bit cheaper. In my opinion, it is a little bit too high. $84 is a lot for a collect edition. Definitely was you know, in this. You know, I have gotten other collect editions that was way better than this. Like I got the Pit Boy edition, which in my opinion is technically better than this. Um, I got the Street Fighter one, I got the Just Calls, and all of them came with statues of some kind. And this didn't have a statue, so it was already pushing the limit of what I usually spend on collect editions. Um, I usually try to stick with the $100 mark you know, this is not $100, but it's just the stuff that you usually get, and that is a lot better than I would say ARK technically did. Even though I'm a fan of ARK, I'm a super fucking fan apparently, so I bought it, but at the end of the day, like I said, there's other collect editions that I feel, honestly, um, it's worth a lot more than just getting this, to be honest. Unless you really love this game, I do recommend getting it like I did myself, um, but I'm just saying, overall, I had better collect editions that I even pay, paid cheaper than this and got better stuff, but... In the collect edition, you get the notebook, which, honestly, if I could have just bought the notebook, I would have bought the notebook. The notebook is definitely what I really wanted out of this, and that alone kind of makes it worth it for me. Um, you get a logo necklace, which I'm probably going to just hang on my door or whatever. Um, you get the cloth map. You get the collect edition chest, which is just a theme, a theme box, pretty much. That's really that's all it really is. Um, you get a poster of all the devs, and you get the soundtrack. Now, I heard the soundtrack was pretty good, so... I'll definitely check it out. I don't know if I'm going to upload anything like that, but um, yeah, I just, like I said, I just bought it because I wanted the book, and, and technically, I own everything that's ARC. Like, I still need to get t-shirts and stuff like that that I really want, and one of the 3D prints that they have, but other than that, like, I have everything. I have ARC on every platform. I have the season pass on every platform. You know what I mean? Like, I love this game so much, and to have the collect edition now is totally worth it. You know, the $159 price was pushing the fucking limit because what was i going to do with the game in the season pass you know what i mean yeah i could have gave it away but most of my friends who already play arc already have it so i'm glad they released this i think this is a total great idea to release at that moment um i just said fuck it and bought it to be honest with you guys so make sure you guys check back on here as soon as it actually delivers i will actually make an unboxing uh, for you guys i'll probably try to get my dad somebody open it but i'll i'll definitely have an unboxing for you guys um the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is something on Twitter. Now, this is kind of like a little rant a little bit because it's kind of bullshit. Because, like I said in all my other videos, Xbox gets shit last. So, if you want to get the Aberration skins, you can go ahead and get it on Monday for the PS4 and PC. So, you can easily get these little masks and all that. I mean, it's, it's cosmetic stuff, so it's not that important. But the fact is, Xbox got to wait. And they didn't give a release date of when Xbox is going to get it. We'll mostly, most likely get it when um, the servers come out. Like the rentable servers and stuff like that. So we'll probably get it in a week. 
but it's just the fact that we have to wait to get another thing when this is already on Xbox first. It really sucks. Um, I'm sticking with you guys, you know, Xbox for life when it comes to ARK. Um, so I guess I'll be waiting too. I'll probably make a video probably Monday showing you guys this because, like I said, I kind of made my schedule free for aberration and all that. Like, I had it set, trust me, guys. So I'm free until probably Wednesday. So Monday, I'll definitely be making a video probably talking about this from my PC. Um, but like I said, it just sucks that we have to wait even longer to get something else um, that we should have probably got day one like everybody else um the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is something that happened on the stream right uh, i'm gonna try to blow it up on the screen right now so you guys can see it it was a reaper bursting through the chest of a character it was a reaper bursting through the chest of one of the survivors and it was just looks so freaking weird like the fact that if it was a woman then yeah i probably thought it was a baby but the fact that it just came out of his chest and just ran like i can just imagine being the character that she's seeing your characters just drop and there's blood everywhere like i want to know the side effects that it comes with this like do you you know lose some health you know are you poisoned for a little while you know can this spread to other people in your tribe um i definitely want to see more about this um but this that's probably one of the coolest things that happened in aberration and, and honestly if you look at the bottom i don't know what that icon is um but it looks like it's counting down um so it's probably something like that. Well, it can't be because he already... Well, that's on the other guy, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll probably figure it out. Um, but it just overall just looked weird as fuck the way it just happened. Um, I just want to know what you guys think about it. But what do you guys think the side effect's going to be? Because he clearly didn't die. So um, it definitely got to be something else. Unless he just jumps from one person and jumps to the next. That'd be pretty badass. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is Netrato. So I decided to get a 32 slot. And the reason I decided to get a 32 slot is I want the server to not lag. I want the server to be, you know, clean so you guys can actually play. Now, the problem with this is um, it's benefits and it's cons to having a 32 slot. Um, 32 slot was there because I felt like, you know, usually when we host a server, about 30 to 40 people join, right? Um, and it just, the game runs smooth. You know, the game is perfect. And when we host these events, I don't have to worry about hosting it over a hundred people you see what i'm saying so when you factor that in 32 is technically the sweet spot um i want to see how the server runs see if it's actually gonna lag um but if but if i get a bunch of messages of you guys telling me a pixels i want to join the server get a hundred dollar slot one of you guys actually looked out for us and his name is jmr bug 96 dude you literally pledged a hundred dollars on patreon and Honestly, man, I'm working with my sister right now to get you something special because um, I kind of want to make a shirt dedicated to Patreon, and I think you'll be the first one to actually get it. Um, she should be working on it right now. She's going to get back to me probably tonight. Um, let's just work on the design and stuff like that, but it's going to be pretty much drawn, and it's going to be pretty badass, and you guys are probably going to love it. Uh, I'm definitely going to get one, and you're definitely going to get one, so it might just be two in the world or something like that, um, but... Yeah, I want you to have that special shirt. So as soon as she get done with it, I'll let you see it first. Um, see if you actually like it and stuff like that. But it will be arc related, and you will, and you probably will think it's badass. Trust me, my sister. With his help, I honestly can get the hundred dollar slot. If you do see this video, um, bugs, I need you to message me right away, right? I need you to message me away. I'm gonna message you on Patreon. I'm gonna try to message you on, on YouTube and stuff like that, uh, or just get contact me on Twitter. But we need to find out what you want to name your building, or what kind of building do you want. In the community center named after you um, because like i said that's kind of one of your perks and i'm going to be switching it up because i think you deserve a little bit more you know rewards than what i have on there that was just like a rough draft and stuff like that of it so i'm definitely going to you know do that but i want you guys to know like 32 right now is technically good um we're going to keep it at 32 unless a lot of you guys really want to join i constantly get people trying to get in um to actually join now the people who do pledge on patreon will most likely be whitelisted so they can always get on um if hopefully they can set it where i can lock certain slots and then they can always join whenever they want to join um but yeah right now with the way we're going to do it and i'm gonna tell you guys the admins a little bit and of course i'll explain it a little bit more um in another video but right now the admins will be jackal bones maya and me that's that's the four that's the four admins that i decided to have at the moment 
because I know that you know they'll you know they'll keep the word. They won't just get stuff you know spread in the world where it's like unfair and pay to win. Um, I don't want this to ever be pay to win. So um, I feel like they will you know keep the server you know at a level where I can you know make videos and stuff like that and everything be fair for everyone. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know if you guys really think I should up it up from 32 and probably get like. I think let's let's just go let's just go to orders real quick. Um, I can get up to 50 if you guys really want me to get a 50 slot. I can get a 50 slot. Or do you guys think 70? Um, like I said, I do want to see how these servers run first before I actually, you know, add more slots. And I heard that I can add slots, you know, anytime I want. So it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.